Chris Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and yesterday I showed, I did a video uh, showing how to add users um, to SharePoint using uh, SharePoint Admin and Azure. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do permissions uh, for those particular users. And uh, if you haven't already, just bring up your office. Just put it in office.com and should bring this up. Sign in if you need to. And we're going to go directly to SharePoint. All right, so we're going to look at, um, we'll look at this site here, and we'll look at a group site here. So the first thing I want to show you is um, once this gear comes up, sometimes the gear doesn't come up right away, so you kind of got to wait a second. So we're going to go into permissions. Um, so you can add permissions here. You can go into advanced settings. Um, we're going to do both on this uh, particular one. So let's go to advanced settings. I want to show you something first. So if you look up here where it says um, site collection administrators, that's kind of like God status. So no matter what I do as far as permissions are concerned here, I can wipe out every permission um, for everybody, even myself. Um, but as long as I'm in God status here, um, I'm good. I can control the entire um, the entire collection of this particular site, my media helper uh, right up here, this whole site. So if it's your if it's your license, then um, you've probably got God status already. You can add others for God status, and I just call it God status. It's site collection administrator. Uh, it's basically you got um, domain over everything, so I can add whomever I want. I mean, these are all me. Those are just examples I used when I put in the users. Uh, oops. So you can just add whomever you want. Okay. I'm not going to do it in this case, but you just uh, click on it and you add and you go OK and all is well. So we'll come back to this. I'm just going to hit my back button here. All right, and we're back. This is a communication site. Um, if you're not aware, I'm sure you are if you got to this step. Um, so let's go to permissions. So you've got three permissions. You've got owners, which pretty much can do anything. They can invite people um, if they want to. Site members have limited control, so they can add content. They just can't invite anyone. And then visitors are just people that can um, read the information. And as you see, I already put fan film follies in there. Um, it's pretty simple as far as this is concerned, if this is the way you want to do it. Um, so we'll, we'll add a couple. We'll go uh, Crown Kayak. All right, we'll add them. Um, so it's up to you if you want to send them an email or not. Um, typically, I don't know, it really depends. Typically, I don't. I just let them know that, um, get on Teams and just let them know they're on this particular site. And um, if they have any questions, to let me know. But um, I mean, that's up to you, depending on your business or your personal taste. So we're just going to put these, we can either do read mode or full control, or there's edit. So we'll put Crown Kayak in just read mode. Okay, we're going to add. All right, and so there we go. We've got um, two in read mode. So all they can do is go to the site, this, only this site, not any of the other sites um, off this. So they only can go to makingcomics.com. That's the only permissions that they have. They do not have permissions for the rest um, of the sites that are under this uh, URL or this address, if you will. Okay, let's add one more. Let's, uh, I'm trying to T or not to be, I believe. Yep, to be or not to be. Um, so I'm not gonna send them an email. I'm gonna put them in edit status. All right, so they can make changes. They just can't invite, um, just can't invite anybody. There's to be or not to be. And then um, there's the other two. So there's another one that you can do. You can put everyone except external users. So that's everyone under this collection. Um, any any user under this. So basically you're opening it up, right? It's an intranet. SharePoint is pretty much used for internet. It can be internet as well, but it's pretty much for most businesses, it's just an internal thing. So this opens it up for everybody um, under this particular URL. So anyone that works for the company under that URL can get in and, and check out these pages. And um, so we'll just do that. And I'll just put them in read status. I don't need to send the whole group um, <laughs> an email. So we'll just add there. Okay. So let's go to advanced permission settings. All right, now I'm gonna show you, if you go into members, um, there's to be or not to be, I put them in there. So there I am. And then finally, if you go into visitors, 
All right, those are the ones that I put in there. All right, now if you want to um, grant permissions here, it's just basically the same thing. You just, um, well, it's not exactly the same thing, but just um, hit on there. And I think I have my, you got my doggies I can play around with here. So that's one I want to add. And then I'm not gonna, you can either send an invitation or not, just like before. And then you got this drop down. So you can decide uh, where to put. So um, it's pretty much self-explanatory here. Here's the three we've been dealing with. Um, here's some other groups that you can put them in. Um, the only thing with this, so let's put this in for um, design and then we'll share and then we'll um so it's not going to be any particular group it's it's all by itself um my good doggies which is fine or you can you can create a, a group right here if you want so and we can just create um i don't know let's go let's just create a group called e-commerce um and can decide what you want to do as far as to uh, what you want to do with that particular group. Eh, let's just do read. Uh, let's do contribute. It doesn't really matter. It's just an example. All right, we'll create. Okay, and then we'll go back, go back. Okay, and there's e-commerce. So you can, uh, you can fill people in with this as well. So if you go to grant permissions, uh, we'll go to fan, fan film follies again. Just pretend these are people. These just happen to be email addresses that I have um, active. All right, and so there you go, e-commerce. And I'm gonna share. And then if you go into your e-commerce, then um, fan film follies is in that particular group. Okay, so that's for communication site. Um, let's go to individual folders and files. So let's go back here, uh, go to SharePoint again, I'll go here. Okay, this time we're gonna go to um, content, site contents. So let's start with a folder, um, we'll go documents. All right, you wanna go to settings, so you're gonna hit these three uh, buttons here on top of each other, like a snowman, I don't know, <laughs> um, and go to settings. Okay, you want to go to over here, permissions and management. You want to go two down for permissions for this document. So by default, it's going to um, have these three groups for that particular folder. You don't need to do that. You can actually delete those. And the way you do that is just you can uh, do one at a time or just grab all these. Now, remember, you are deleting everybody. And remember, I'm... I'm a part of this, I'm, I'm in the owner, but I also have God status. So I have administrator's rights. Because of that, even if I delete myself off these permissions, um, I'm still, I still have access. So I would be the only one that has access because I'm the only one uh, uh, that has uh, administration rights. So you can grab all those and you can, uh, let's delete unique permissions stop inheriting all right and then we'll remove user permissions okay let's see what this is about oh, okay so that that has a unique permission on there um so all right, you just want individuals on this particular thing. So you're gonna grant permission on this particular folder, as you see, share documents. Um, I'm gonna do full control. I'm not gonna send an email. Yeah, I'll give myself full control. And then you can put as many people as you want in here. And film file is complete control. Okay, and then you can share. And if you just refresh. So these are the two entities that can, um, that can access that particular folder. And you can break it down more, let me get back. And you can do the same thing with files. So let's just go into a document and um, I don't know, we'll just go here with gems. And you wanna go to manage access for this particular PDF file. All right, and then, uh, 
Let's go to advanced. There are no items to show in this list. And then we can grant permission. So we'll just do me again. But I already have permission, right? Because I'm an administrator. Um, you'll need T or not TV. And then you can decide uh, how they can access it. Okay, we'll just do full control. Okay, and then if you refresh, so those are the two entities that can access that particular file. So let's go to group real quick. Uh, it's pretty much the same um, concepts. You can go here, permissions. So you can add people here. As you see, there's an additional element. So there's a communication group owners. So I'll show you how that goes. These are so how you would do that is um, you're, we're going to go to site contents. And then there's a couple ways you can do it. You can uh, hit the members. You can add group members here. So we can do fan film follies. And we'll make them a member. Save. OK. Or you can go over here to this communication group. Just click on that. Go to members um, and add members. OK, and then from here, um, you can add members here, add members here. <laughs> um, you can add members here. So I think um, in, in my edit, so I can't find my other sites on here. I'm thinking because I don't have um, a license for them for email it, an email address license. So that's why they're not showing up. But in your case, if your members do, this is where you would put their name. Thing. I do have a license. That's why that's coming up. But that's where you um, you can add additional members as well. Okay, and I would show up there. These are showing up here because I actually added them on um, at the SharePoint uh, at the SharePoint page. All right, gals and guys, that's it as far as uh, permissions. There's there's more to it, but that's really the basics of what you have to what you have to know. Um, I hope this uh, was helpful. If you uh, could share this, I would appreciate it with people who uh, need help with permissions. Like the video if you liked it. Like it if you didn't like it. And certainly um, subscribe if you could. I would appreciate it. Thank you for everyone who's subscribed so far. And then hit that bell for updates. And I will catch you later.